In this video, I will be giving my very first impressions of a brand I'm not familiar with. I am discovering their fragrances for the first time and I hope that you are too. But before I get into my first impressions, I really wanna to touch on this. These fragrances were sent to me. I actually reached out to the brand after my friend Pierre recommended me to try these fragrances. When I reached out to the owner, Theodoros Kaltinas, I honestly thought that he was just gonna send me a discovery set. No, he sent me some full size bottles. I gotta say thank you, Theodoros, for your incredible generosity. This video will be more raw because this will be my first impressions. I want you to kind of discover them with me. Let's get into it. I really, really hope I like these fragrances because if I don't, I'm just not gonna upload this video. Let's just hope I like them. Here is my package from Theodoros Kalatinis. It's a pretty hefty box. Like he did send me a discovery set, which actually contains five three milliliter bottles in there. On top of that, he also sent me this. No, I'm just kidding. He, well, yeah, he did send me this too. Along with four other bottles, full size 50 ml bottles, okay? I was not expecting that. Just before I dive right in, he basically has two different types of collections. He sent me fragrances from both of these collections. His first collection is the Eau de Parfum collection, which I got three full size bottles. I think these are around 45 euros. So pretty good price point, especially for an independent house. These are all gourmands. In his Eau de Parfum collection, he has 15 fragrances. I'll definitely smell smell all of them one day. Then you have his Golden Secrets collection where there are five fragrances. He sent me two of them. They're in extract de Parfum concentration. Where to begin? I'll go over the whole discovery set at the end. It's basically this. It contains five different fragrances. I have smelt one of them in there and I was incredibly impressed. Let me just brief over this brand real quick in case you have not heard of Theodoros Kalatinis. In 2018, Theodoros Kalatinis was the personal perfumer of the Prince of Wales, Charles. You now know him as King Charles. He was also the personal perfumer to the Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla. This guy's worked with royalty. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to these last because they're more expensive and I'm gonna start with the Eau de Parfum Gourmand scents. When it comes to gourmands, I'll be honest, like I don't usually wear gourmands out of the house. Most of the time I wear gourmands inside of the house when I wanna feel good and I wanna be uplifted. The three fragrances that he sent me, Coffee Addict, Velvet Chocolate, and Lemon Tart. They all have the same package. They just say what fragrance it is on the top. From what I know, Coffee Addict, I think is his most popular fragrance. So I'm gonna try that one last. Let's start off with Lemon Tart. I don't know what to expect here. I just know that it is a gourmand. So this is what the bottle looks like. Pretty cool, pretty basic. Nothing too interesting, but it's classy. Like you don't have to go all out in your presentation. The cap is kind of cheap, I'm not gonna lie. These are also pretty affordable. So what I'm gonna, oh my God, I think I kind of already smell it. The atomizers are actually pretty good. I'm gonna spray all of these on skin here. So, whoa, what? How do you do that? I'm kind of blown away. It just smells like a photorealistic lemon tart. I was expecting it to be like inspired by a lemon tart, but you can literally smell like the pastry, the lemon. It's stronger than I thought. There's sweetness, like it smells sugary sweet. I don't know what I was expecting, but this smells incredible. Is it something I would wear out of the house? Maybe not, but I'm definitely gonna be wearing this inside the house, you know, when I'm just chilling. And it's very unisex. I think all of these kind of gourmands are gonna be unisex. So let me just go over a little bit of a brief story of what they have listed because it'll help describe what this fragrance is. We're off to a good start. I'm not gonna lie. We're off to a very, very good start. So, okay. So it says, born in the paradise of gourmand addictions. The luscious buttery crust releases its soft and seductive scent. Its sensual heart is revealed through vanilla cream and fresh lemon juice, while the rush of intensity imparted by lemon zest culminates the addictive power of the unisex lemon tart eau de parfum. I definitely do get that vanilla cream, that lemon, obviously. It's buttery. It's kind of pastry-like. Very, very delicious dessert forward. It smells very delicious. Like, I don't know if I can ever look as delicious as this thing smells. This is gonna be hard to match up to. Good job, good job. Next on the list, we're gonna go with Velvet Chocolate. Same style bottle, let's spray it on hand. There we go. Holy sh Okay, this is what it smells like to me. You know those lava cakes for like your birthday at a restaurant and there's that melted chocolate coming out but you get that kind of sponge cake? That's what it smells like to me. This is like high quality luxurious chocolate though. It's not like the cheap chocolate. Wow, how do you even begin to make a scent like this? Like if someone told me, oh, you have to recreate a dessert, like where do you begin? This is so accurate. I'm already, okay, wow. Let me read the story here. Velvet Chocolate Eau de Parfum, a unisex fragrance that melts on the skin the way a delicious chocolate cube melts in the mouth. The fragrance is composition unfolds like a chocolate bomb with intense cacao and vanilla essences that settle into the velvety gourmet embrace of tonka bean. It will remind you of luxurious chocolate pralines richly sprinkled with cacao. Again, absolutely blown away. 
but it's wearability. I mean, for me, I'm not much of a gourmand wearer. So when you read the name of this, that's exactly what you're getting. So you kind of already know what to expect. I just wasn't expecting it to be that high quality and so close. I don't even think I'm smelling fragrances here. Like that's how crazy it is. Let's move on to what I think is the most hyped fragrance from the brand Coffee Addict. My friend Pierre told me I definitely have to try this one out because I love coffee fragrances. Yeah, same bottle anyways. Let's get on to the scent profile. Whoa, I'm taken away here. This is something I will definitely wear out of the house because it's sexy. It's like, it smells like very, very date forward. If you are addicted to coffee, like the name implies, you will absolutely love this fragrance. So far, this is my favorite one. It's not just coffee. Although it's a very, very photo realistic coffee, it's also sweet. To me, it smells like when you go into those independently owned expensive coffee shops, perfect for fall, perfect for winter. It kind of smells like caramelly sweet with some, a little bit of vanilla and roasted coffee. Not like the burnt coffee smell that you get in some other coffee fragrances. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay, I'm already blown away. And those are just the three gourmands, the things that I didn't even think I would wear. Oh, you know what would be crazy? I'm not the layering type. Combine these two, you get a mocha. Even just smelling it like this, they combine together so nicely. I'm gonna try layering these. Okay, I gotta move on. We're gonna move on to the Golden Secrets collection, his most expensive fragrances. Originally when I reached out, I kind of just wanted to try the ones that Pierre recommended to me in samples and see if I wanted a full bottle. To back Maniac was one of the ones he wanted me to try. I'll get to that one last. First, I'm gonna start with Symposium. All of these fragrances, from what I can see, kind of have like a Greek vibe. The perfumer is from Crete, Greece. Like he's able to recreate areas and places in Greece that he's been to. It's like his scent memory is kind of transitioned into a sprayable fragrance. Like he's recreating these memories in time with his fragrances. He's very artistic in that way, which I really like. I kind of think I know what to expect with Symposium. Oh my goodness, yeah, the bottle looks really nice actually. Okay, this is a step up. You can already tell just by the bottle. It's got the golden plaque on the front. That is nice. And kind of like a wooden cap. Looks really cool. I like the look of this one a lot. This is also in a 50 ml bottle. Let's get after it. A luxurious smelling. There's some sweetness, some woods, some greens, maybe a little bit of like white floral and musks. Is there some sort of like boozy note? A little bit of booze? Everything's blending together so nice. It is a little bit more mature. If you've been watching my channel for a bit, you know I do like the kind of mature scent profiles. This is like suit and tie wedding guest or like a very high end luxurious event. This is kind of a situational fragrance in that sense. It's very, very high class smelling. Like the younger gentleman is probably not gonna gravitate to this. Okay, I need to know what is in here. Let me see. Oh my goodness. This is a long one. Okay, prepare. With plenty of wine, dancing, and sensual pleasures, the symposium was one of the most popular forms of entertainment among the ancient Greeks. The primordial party was held in a place filled with sensual aromas of essential oils, plenty of wine under the mysterious glow of fire. The ultimate combination of irresistible seduction. It says it's unisex. I think this is more on the masculine side of unisex. Some of the notes are Cretan labdanum wine. Okay, there's the booziness. Kind of like a sweet, darker. Okay, I can get that. Tonk bean, vanilla, amber, ambergris, patchouli, woodsy notes, musk, lavender, saffron, and iris. Incredibly luxurious, situational, and a little bit more for the mature man. Super high quality, super well blended, incredibly artistic perfumery here. It's not like a scream in your face kind of fragrance. Closer to the skin, classy, elegant, sophisticated, insanely good. Let's move on to the next one in the Golden Secrets collection, Tobacco Maniac. Same kind of style here. Bottle looks the same. A little bit lighter on the juice. Let's spray it. Let's get to it. Oh my goodness, powerful, power. That's very strong. It's like powerfully masculine, also a little bit, oh my goodness, it's getting stronger. It's kind of like an earthy tobacco patchouli combination. I would say it smells like similar to like a cigar, but like not lit. It's not like ashy type of cigar smoke. Like the tobacco is definitely in your face. There's some sort of sweetness in here. It's like tobacco is in your face, but softened with this kind of sweetness. It's kind of like a combination of like a fight against like sweet and powerful and they're just like kind of con binding into one. It's very, very well blended. High quality. My goodness. That is incredible. Like I, I'm so happy that these fragrances were actually good because you know, I would, I would hate to just not release this after he sent me all these things. It was so generous. So the sweetness is coming from honey and vanilla. I wasn't necessarily thinking there's like honey and vanilla here. Like if you think of like man, Sarah's red tobacco or something like that, this is way more wearable. It's also way higher quality smelling. This is really, really good. If you like tobacco, you're going to love this. Very classy 
I could totally picture like a villain in a movie wearing this or something, you know? It has that like, I'm powerful, I'm the boss, I'm commanding, respect, look at me. There's a lot of projection coming off of this one. It's very strong. I'm gonna enjoy all of these after the camera, but I gotta get through this. I'm gonna go over the Discovery set quickly. I did kind of cheat, you know, in the sense that I did try one of the fragrances in this Discovery set. The one that I tried, I actually tried it on a woman, Lily. Now, when I sprayed on Lily, I was kind of expecting Lily, right? White floral, uh, earthy undertones or something like that. This was a little bit more than that. You're getting this like, kind of like an earthy patchouli. With a name like Lily, I would have thought that it would be like unisex borderline feminine, but no, this is actually unisex borderline masculine. I would 100% wear this. In terms of Jasmine of the Athens, I don't have any tester strips, so I'm gonna be spraying it on this paper here. I gotta get some, I really do. Okay. Very high quality, luxurious scent profile. Very feminine leading in my opinion. It's classy. It's almost a little bit like soapy. Like if you think of like a very, very high class designer soap or something like that. That's what it smells like to me. Jasmine is definitely forefront here. Very feminine. I think it's kind of riding the more mature, rich female. It's not very youthful in my opinion. Very quality stuff here. I think a lot of more mature women would love that one. I'm just gonna briefly touch over all these, right? Okay, now let's try Royal Orchid. I think this is another female one. Oops, I think I missed. Yeah. What is that? It smells like um, wild fruits, like still attached to the vine. Does that make sense? But also you're getting obviously orchid in there. Like it's giving this kind of the floral vibe to it, but there's a little bit of a sweetness going on, some earthy qualities, a woodiness. This is good. This is kind of more unique than I think the, the Jasmine one was. It really, really smells like a garden. I think this is definitely a little bit more youthful. It's not youthful at all, actually. It's still like a grown woman, maybe my age or something, but this is really, really natural smelling. I like it. It's just not not something I would wear. I think a lot of women would love this one. It Oh, it has oud in there. There's oud, patchouli, royal orchid, and cranberry. Okay, that makes sense. That's the sweetness I'm getting there. All right, let's move on to I am beautiful. I am. I tell myself that every morning. Okay, this is probably another female one, but that's okay. I can still give my opinions. From the last one, it does kind of have a little bit of a similarity to it. I think it's like a similar type of, what was it? Cranberry? Yeah, it does have that kind of same kind of fruity top note there but this is a little bit different. I think that's rose, I think. So it smells like kind of cranberry greens and rose. It really smells close to the last one. This one just smells like it has rose in it. It smells very natural. Let's see. Okay, hey, I was actually right. It's patchouli, amber, rose, and cranberry. So I was actually right on saying it smells pretty similar, except it has rose and some amber in there, but also very nice. Now let's get down to this last one, mentor. Patchouli, woody, some light sweetness maybe. It smells like it's in the vein of like Lalique's Encre Noir, but like 10 times more expensive, better blended smelling. A little bit too dark though, for something I would like. Like it's it's very good, you know, don't get me wrong. Okay, so there's amber, vanilla, and vetiver in there. Actually, as this dries, you are picking up a little bit more on that vanillic amber. It's not as dark and damp as it's kind of started off. It's dried down into a much more pleasant scent profile. It's in the vein of Lalique's Encre Noir, more expensive, more luxurious, and just a better scent profile in my opinion. That pretty much covers everything. I wanna say thank you to Theodoros Kalatinis for sending me this incredibly generous package. You're such an incredible guy and your fragrances match. You have an amazing brand. I just wanna say thank you. I recommend all of you to just check out his website. I'm gonna leave that in the link in the description. No, it's not an affiliate link. No, I don't make money selling these products. I just highly think that you should check them out. You can buy this discovery set, I think for like 25 euro. And in there you get five 3ML samples. Incredible price value here. You can pick anything, including things from the Golden Secrets line. If any of these fragrances sound like something that would interest you, I highly recommend you go check that out. Try before you buy, sample, sample, sample. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these fragrances, what your thoughts on the brand are, and any other brands you want me to try out, indie, niche, let me know, I will make sure that I do that. Let me know in the comments below if you want full reviews for any of these fragrances, because there's a couple I have in mind that I want to give reviews on. This is probably the last video that I'll film in this house, because I am moving, that's why everything's a mess. It would mean the world to me if you guys subscribed and hit that like button because I love doing this kind of stuff. If you like fragrance hauls, I highly recommend you check out this video right here where I found some incredible, incredible fragrances. I'll see you over there.